<laughs> Welcome back to K Drama Rama. Today we're going to review. What is that? Oh, hang on a second. Oh, the Tamagotchi. I totally forgot about it. Oh, I made a poopy. Eat the hamburger. Seriously, eat the hamburger. Who doesn't want to eat a hamburger? Aigo. Today on K-Drama Rama, we're reviewing the flashback sequel hit of the winter, Reply 1994. This drama starts with the same premise as Reply 1997. A group of friends meet up in modern day Seoul, and then the show flashbacks to show how they met and how they got to this point. Also, who will the main girl marry? Who is it? We have to know who is it? The cinematography and styling in this drama, like its predecessor, Reply 1997, uses cinematography and styling to give the feel of Korea in the 1990s. Also, although the speaking is dramatized, it's a lot more realistic to the way Koreans speak, at least in my experience. Again, like 1997, Reply 1994 employs a mysterious storyline about who will she marry by obscuring all of the main girl's friends in the flashbacks to the 90s. While Reply 1997, this idea was kind of original and fresh, uh, the way they use it in the new series kind of insults our intelligence. Our heroine has several guy friends, and the show obscures all their identities in the flashbacks, as if we be would believe that her husband could be any of them. I mean, really? This guy? Come on. This guy? Come on. This guy? Come on. If you're interested in recent Korean history, you might like this show for its incorporation of important events from the 1990s in Korea, which I had no idea about. And if you do know about those events, you probably will understand the importance that they had to people in Korea. Jeez, drama. What a manipulative son of a <laughs> Ahem. Uh, guys, I'm tired. Aaron, take over. I'm, I'm gonna go get a banana milk. So there's a few things to discuss about this drama. The first of which I want to address is that expectations going into Answer Me 1994 were really quite high because Answer Me 1997 was so good. So that definitely affected how I perceived this drama and it affected my enjoyment of it. A big part of that was that Answer Me 1997 was so zippy and funny and, and light and fun. And uh, Answer Me 1994 tended to drag a lot more. Part of this is the length of the show. Show. It started off at an hour long and then I think at, at one point at the longest I believe we had a, an episode that was an hour and 40 minutes which is really way too long. This was just a problem with the editing. The editing did not help the humor to come to life in this show. You would watch a scene and it would be funny and then the scene would keep going and it, it would be like you were watching a joke fall over and bleed out and die right in front of you and, and it just kind of leached a lot of the humor out of the show. So really the major problem with this show I think is that it, it kind of was run away with by this central conceit of this mystery of who is going to be her husband and everything that happened in the show from one scene to the next it, in all the characters, all the dialogue, was sort of about um, preserving and promoting this great big mystery. But the problem with that is that it really worked to the detriment of character development and emotion, um, which was really disappointing because those were some of the greatest parts of Answer Me 1997, and that's definitely where some of the comparison problems came in. But aside from that, when this show was good, it was great. The rest of the time, to my immense disappointment, it kind of sank into the middling. Towards the end of the show, I got so tired of being jerked around from, from, it's Opa, no, it's Chubongi, no, it's Opa, no, it's Chubongi again, wait, no, God, just stop, stop. 
Stop! Sadly, being jerked around constantly like that, it didn't really preserve a sense of mystery or excitement about who her husband was going to be. All it really did is just force me to disengage emotionally from the show, and that's not what you want. In a lot of ways, this drama was still miles better than uh, some other recent dramas I can think of. <coughs> Airs. <coughs> But aside from that, any show that forces me to emotionally disengage from its characters really hasn't been doing its job. I cared, but then I had to stop caring to save myself too much heartache. Why you do this to me, show? I just want to love you! Today's shout out goes to Sung Dong Il and Il Hua. Il Hua and Sung Dong Il played mom and dad, respectively, in both Answer Me 1997 and 1994. They played pretty much the same characters in both shows. Dad is a temperamental baseball coach whose team doesn't win very often, and mom is the glue that holds the family together by always making way too much food. I was actually really happy that they brought the same parents back for 1994 that they had in 1997 because Sung Dong Il and Il just have a really great chemistry together and they have really great chemistry with everybody else. They are responsible I think for a lot of the warmth and heart that is in both shows. I was also really excited for the 1997 cast cameos in 1994 because I love 1997 so much so that was fantastic to see. And I mean okay for real, Seregi Oppa and Taeyong Oppa together in the same scene? So much Oppa! Oh, hey guys! Just drinking my banana milk. Thanks for watching K-Drama Rama. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've seen Reply 1994, let us know what you thought about it in the comments below. Also, let us know your favorite drama. Maybe next time we'll give it a little review and do a skit or not, or just drink banana milk. It's delicious. Anyway, see you next time. Peace!